All right, what's good, everybody? It's your boy Akeem, and welcome to today's vlog. Week 5 of the NFL season, here to give you some tips for fantasy football play. Now, I'm going to start with the matchup between the Tennessee Titans and the Pittsburgh Steelers. Now, you should start the Titan defense. They're the top scoring defense in the NFL. Big Ben is hurt, as well as Rashard Mendenhall, so the Titan defense to dominate in this matchup. Now, there's some question marks with running back Chris Johnson on whether to start him or bench him. You should start him for this game, because last week he showed a little hope against the Cleveland Browns, rushing for over 100 yards. And Pittsburgh gave up 155 yards alone to Arian Foster in their loss against the Houston Texans last week. So start Chris Johnson. I think he should have a decent game. Next game to look at, Cam, uh, the Cam Newton and the Carolina Panthers are hosting the New Orleans States Saints. Cam Newton should have a good game in this matchup. He's a good pocket passer, especially at, in a shotgun formation. Plus, he has outstanding mobility. Now, the Saints, they're a blitz-happy team, but... um. Cam Newton has the ability to evade the defenders and give you some tough yardage on the ground. I think he should have a good game. Should start it for this week. Now, a surprise start this week is Darren Sproles. He's actually the number 11 running back in fantasy football in points. He's having a good season, especially as a backup. He's a great running back, especially he can help you with the as a return specialist. And I think he's going to have a big game. Carolina is ranked 31st in the NFL in rush defense. So Darren Sproles should get a lot of carries and a lot of touches in this game. Definitely start him for this matchup. The next game to look at, Oakland Raiders are going into Houston to face the Texans. Now, Andre Johnson is out, which means Jacoby Jones is going to be that number one target for Matt Schaub. A lot of hype has been going towards Jones, but one thing he needs to work on is his pass catching of um, consistency. He needs to be a little bit more consistent in that department. But Matt Schaub is definitely going to keep an eye on him for the next weeks. Now, I think you should bench him for this game because the Oakland Raiders, they're one of the worst teams in the NFL in rush defense. So Arian Foster is going to get a lot of touches. Houston's going to focus more on running the ball instead of passing it. But I think you should just keep an eye out for Jacoby Jones. Bench him this week, and then if he does well, start him the following week, but we will see. In the final game I'm going to talk about, the Green Bay Packers are going to face the Atlanta Falcons. Now, this is going to be a big game, and I think it's going to be a high-scoring matchup. One player I think you should bench in this game is Michael Turner. I think he's going to struggle due to the um, um the Packers' rush defense. They have a good rush defense, and I think they're going to stop them. But I think they're going to have a hard time in their pass defense. It's going to be a pass-happy game. So one player who has been blowing up for the past couple of weeks is Julio Jones of the Atlanta Falcons. He's actually projected to get over 1,300 yards receiving at the end of the season. At the end of the season, but we will see. He's been showing great productivity and a great connection for Matt Ryan being a good secondary target next to Rody White in the uh, um, Atlanta Falcon receiving core. This is going to be a big, high-scoring game. You should definitely start Jones as well as Rody White, but I think you should sit Michael Turner. I think he's just going to have a hard time against that um, Packer D. But we will see. I'm still, I'm still sticking with Michael Turner being benched for this matchup. Now, the next time I'm going to catch you guys is next Friday. Give you my Week 6 um, predictions as well as some tips for fantasy football play. Thank you for watching today's blog from Sports News Insider. I'm your boy, Akeem McCall. Be easy.